I'm Andrew Minigay, one of the community managers on Assassin's Creed, and we're here with the wonderful effervescence, Victoria, <laughs> who is the full... Hold Actually, on, gonna... can we go back, can we go back? Yeah. Can you say my name right? Hey there, Assassins. I'm Andrew Minigay. I'm one of the community managers on Assassin's Creed. I'm here with the wonderful effervescence, full of life, Victoria <laughs> Atkin. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to let you introduce yourself and what you are in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh, okay. My name is Victoria Atkin, as you just said, and uh, I play Evie Fry in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. How was getting in a mocap suit? Have you done that before? No, I haven't. Uh, it felt very much like uh, I used to be a slalom ski. It felt like a cat suit, but with dots all <laughs> over it. Um, and not as Lycra. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, it was really good. And uh, the helmet, we had big helmets with cameras and big packs of microphones, so it was, it was fun. It was really good. So we decided uh, we were going to ask you some questions, but we thought we'll take a bit of a different approach. Okay. Because I'm sure you're used to getting questions. So how is it playing Eevee and all yeah. this? We want to really get to know the real you. Okay. So we decided to get some questions. They're a bit off the beaten track. What is your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal, Cocoa Pops. Okay, there you go. Like, I'm sorry, Jacob, but Eevee's already winning. Yes. Chocolate cereal. What did he say? Something like... Rice Krispies. No, 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 it was also like chocolate cereals. Oh, it was? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What other accents are you able to do? Oh, I can do a Scottish accent if I want to do that. And do a Cockney London accent, you know what I mean? I can sound a little bit more like Jacob, you know? I can be real like Cockney and swag like that. Or make it real deep, you know? <laughs> I can do a Scouser. Like to come from Liverpool and talk like that, you know? Oh my God. Obviously I can do an American Valley girl. Like it's really annoying, but it's really fun. And you can get really excited doing this. It's really, oh my God. I'm like a general American accent. This is my talking in American accent kind of voice. No. I actually read, and this is awful, I read an audiobook in a Welsh accent. I don't know what happened or how I even managed to do that. I think I just phoned all my Welsh friends and said, read this, and I just copied it and recorded it. When it comes to chicken wings, oh, do you prefer bone-in or boneless? <laughs> bone-in? <laughs> yeah! No, no, that's not my answer, but just that, that sounds funny, bone-in. <laughs> bone-in. <laughs> I didn't even know you could have so boneless you, wings. Yeah. Apparently, this is a thing. Good. So bone in. Bone yes, so bone we, can, in. we can do the high five again. <laughs> do you eat ice cream? Well, favorite ice cream was mint choc chip. I have you a little bit it? of a problem with mint and chocolate. Why? I don't feel they should go together. It's kind of like pineapple on pizza. Just No, no. that should definitely happen. <laughs> what is more menacing? Shouting or whispering? Whispering. 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 You can freak somebody out so bad by whispering because they get like totally caught off guard. My dad always says you lose an argument when you raise your voice. Thank as you. soon as you raise your voice or if you swear, you've lost. I feel like I'm just giving away my big tips that's, that's, a, that's, that's an... Any potential boyfriends out there do not watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what is the craziest acting warm-up activity that you've had to do? I used to have drums. Well, I went to a theater school when I was 14 and we had to do a song <laughs> that made us stick our tongues out and sing about frogs. So you go, mm-mm, said the little green frog, mm-mm, said the little green frog one day, and then you go, and the frog said, mm-mm, ah. <laughs> and we had to do it and get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. What would it actually take for you to do a leap of faith? Well, I did it at, at Comic-Con. At San Diego? I did, and uh, it took quite a lot. So I'm, the only thing I'm really scared of is heights. I did it from, what is it? That's Comic-Con 25 foot? 25 foot? Yeah. Did you do it with the full technique or did they not allow you? Mine was more like a grandma jump <laughs> of like, oh my God. <laughs> Next question. All right, so we have a couple of either ors. Train, okay. train or carriage? Carriage. Love carriage. to be driven. But I love horses. Throwing knife or poison dart? Throwing knife. Poison dart's cool, but I just think it's more powerful than it's throw a knife yeah. in someone's head. Pistol or hidden blade? Pistol. I think with actually killing people, you don't want to be that close to someone you're going to kill. You just need to get it done. Evie just needs one. One. Like a dart, bullseye dart, or a one shot. So if you, as Evie, Okay. We're to get into a drinking contest with Jacob. Oh, with Jacob, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who would win? Jake, Jacob would win. Really? I think she probably could hold her drink more than Jacob. Yeah, if she knew it was a contest, yeah. 
for sure she'd win. She'd be prepared. She'd know the measures of her drinks. She'd have some pork scratchings with Yeah, <laughs> pork scratchings. <laughs> I hope she'd maybe a bit more classy than that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Victoria Akin a little bit more. And this should give you some insight into Evie as well. Uh, we'll be back again soon. So stay safe, assassins. Bye. Thank you.